guys. Lurtrix here. I'm bringing you guys my PC unboxing video. And uh, I'm not sure how this camera is. My first time using it. And I'm going to Skype call it a few friends. And there's the old PC. And there's the new box for the new one. So let's get this started. I have a tripod. I'm going to be using it. Uh, my first time using the tripod too. I'm not sure how well it is. This box is pre-opened on the top before the video. I'm just checking on which side I wanted to open it on. I only got like halfway down it. Got some bubble wrap, or not bubble wrap, plastic wrap. This knife is like super sharp. Not even a knife, it's a shaving razor. I use it more of a knife than anything though. Alright, able to open it. Right now, I do have dual monitors, but I want to replace that one to the left right there. It's a piece of crap. Uh, more plastic. More tape. Right. A bunch of bubble wrap. Or not bubble wrap, but... What the hell you call those things? I don't even know what to call them things anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna set this tripod up. So you can sort of see it better. Alright. So, let's slide this right out of here. I'm gonna be gentle with it. If I break it, I'm gonna cry. It's a custom built. I use a website called. What website? Mag magic? No. Yeah, magicmicro.com. It's a pretty good site. Uh, you can add up all the parts you want. Here, I'm going to turn my fan off. You can add up all the parts you want. Choose any parts on the website. They'll put them together for you. Test your PC out for you. Build it and send it. <coughs> oh, God. This thing's in there tight. That's what she said. Oh, boy. Alright, so I'll pick up the camera in a second. Be patient. I'm trying to get this white crap all over my room. Jesus. Alright, so here is the box. That is what the case looks like. It's a pretty sick case. The Commander MSI Snow Edition. both sides of it. Really nice case. It's got a lot of um, spaces for hard drives and whatnot. I'm not sure what this is. The motherboard. So they didn't put it all together. I guess they just put it together, tested it, and then took it apart. Alright, so I gotta put it together. Gigabyte motherboard. It's really good. We've got com uh, compatible with like everything. I could do a lot of installments on it, a lot of upgrades. But yeah, it's a really good motherboard. Show you a little picture of it. It's got three PCI Express slots, which is pretty decent. Crossfire capabilities, onboard Wi-Fi, uh, two HDMI ports, USB 3.0, and it's overall good. It supports everything I need. Um, make sure there's nothing else. That's all in there. So now is the cool part. Get to show the inside of the computer. Oh, alright. Thought I was going to be using this tripod, but I found it a lot easier just to hold it. Alright, tape on the sides. I'm a little slow. One thing I know about this camera though, it has bad sound quality, so sorry if you can't hear my voice that, that well. Alright, there it is. It's the moment I have been waiting for, for a long time. I'm going to put all the specs in the description, so if you want to see the specs, just scroll down, check out the description. Alright, I need to set it down now. 
get this out. Hold on, adjust the tripod. Jesus, I got this thing all off centered. Alright, we'll pull this out real quick. God. We'll put these things in there. Pretty damn tight. Sideways. A lot safer like that. Jesus. And then we this freaking hard. Try not to break the um styrofoam. Jesus, the length on this case. Alright, so it's not as big as I thought it would be, which I'm actually kind of happy about that. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't wanting a huge case out of a small room, so let's adjust the tripod again. A little mini pod. Bag. <laughs> oh, it damaged. Oh, never mind. I thought the case was bent. There's an imprint for the, for the fan. Looks like they're dented in. See, they got plastic oh, styrofoam balls all over the freaking room. Alright, so there's the front of it. Got USB slots, audio, microphone, and headset. Two USB 3.0s in the front. Uh, this is the reset button, the power button. Power button, damn it. I'm just going to take this off the tripod. This is a terrible video, I'm sorry guys. I wasn't prepared. Alright, so. It's the power button, reset. All that good stuff. I got the plexiglass cut out on the side. Looks pretty dope. Alright, now one thing I'm not sure of. Alright, that's what I thought it would have. It has little screws in the back. Jesus, this thing is badass. I'm probably going to eventually get a bigger case. Thing's gonna get heated up in this tiny little case. Hey, I love these little screws, little hand ones. I want these a screwdriver. Hold on, guys. Jesus, that one needs a screwdriver. Oh, never mind. I just need to break my thumb real quick on it. All right, so let me put them screws somewhere I don't lose them. Alright, so that's what the wall looks like on it. Here it is. Alright, that is a giant heat sink. Holy. That thing is as big as my hand. Bigger. Holy crap. You should see that compared to my one I have in my computer right now. Holy crap, that's big. There's my graphics card. The GT 630. 4 gigabyte. I'm going to expand on that. And 900 watt power supply. Should have a temperature gauge on it. I thought it did. Terabyte hard drive. I'm going to invest in an SD hard drive soon. Um, 32 gigs of RAM. XMS 3. I have all them slots filled up. And here is the processor. Where, yeah, the processor is the i7 uh, 3770 uh, Ivy Bridge. I think 3.8 gigahertz. 
it's pretty nice. And uh, I got my PC I Express slots right there. Yeah, three of them. That one right there looks a little close up to the power supply. Yeah, so this case is kind of tight fitting. So I'm definitely going to have to buy a new case eventually. But look at all those hard drive racks. It's ridiculous. I know there's a lot of you guys that have ten times better PCs than this, but for me, this is a big upgrade. It's got one fan. Hmm, another fan right there. I don't know if you guys could see that. There's two fans right there in the front. I could have sworn I got more fans than that. Either way, this thing's amazing. All I really wanted, all I needed right here. All of it in one. I'm so happy. Can't wait to get this thing started up. So I'm going to let you guys go. Oh, hold up. I'm retarded. I thought I had to put the motherboard in. Motherboard's in. This must be the empty box. Hold up. This should be an empty box. Oh my god, let put the camera down. Because I thought you got a motherboard with it. Ah, oh, yeah, that's what I thought. Never mind, this isn't a motherboard. Well, it was the motherboard box, too, but uh, it has my Windows 7 CD right there. And I don't know what this is. Some hardware. I don't know, just some little booklets. Some little wires. Uh, SATA. Screws. Back tray. Cord. Alright. Everything's good. So there it all is. I have my PC, so look forward to me being a ton more active than I am right now. Longer videos. I can finally render. And better videos, most of all. But alright guys, this has been it. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I have. Can't wait to get this stuff started. So don't forget to leave a like, comment, sub, and check out that description for the specs, because they're sick. Alright guys, I'm out. Peace. Hello guys, I'm back, and uh, I have the PC set up, and this is one day later. I did a video right after I set it up, but I didn't like it, so I deleted it. But uh, this is the PC set up. It's got neon and stuff inside. It's pretty nice. And um, I use dual monitors. I don't have this monitor on right now. Yeah, I use dual monitors. But uh, here's some of the stuff that I have downloaded. I have um, some games. Yeah, my Photoshop and all that, but I'm going to show you guys the specs on this. If you want to see the specs closer up, just go to the description of the video for a better look. But there you go. So it's an Intel Core i7-3770, uh, 3.40 gigahertz, uh, 3.90 gigahertz, 32 gigabytes of RAM. Overall, it's a really good computer. Uh, my graphics card is uh, a GT 630. I think I already told you guys what that was. But I'm going to uh, show you guys the neons and the lights are out. They look pretty cool. This camera is really dark though. You can't really see too much. I don't know. It just looks cool to me. This camera is really dark so you guys probably can't see it all that well. It's got a lot of neons. That's about it, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to be putting out a lot more content, so just be ready for that. And, uh, yeah, I'm out. Peace.